so we have no uh, need for a surprise introduction because last week mm. we were joined by the twins and we talked about Project Orville Wayne and stuff like that. But this week we're going to talk about illusions, one of your favourite subjects. Oh, yeah, no. Wayne, obviously. Yeah, go on, Wayne. That's right. They're like identical twins, aren't they? Very identical. Without the hat. Yeah, Without they, the hat they got the same hairstyle <laughs> and everything. Ages. Ages to get that. Uh, you can't tell them apart except the sisters are on the stash. <laughs> <laughs> very good, very good. I think we better just clarify. For everybody at home, obviously, we know who you are, but who's Gary? I'm Gary, as it says on here, Gary Paul. And uh, therefore, and I'm, Paul. and I'm twin, and I'm twins. Because it says on here. <laughs> <laughs> so we cleared that up, but, uh, yeah. oh, illusions. I mean, uh, yeah, Wayne. So yeah, wait, so if you didn't see last week's, then you'll... you, you Stop, you'll, go, stop back. go back. Yeah. What are you doing? Uh, so we're, we're big... Big fans of the Godfather of Illusion, which is Mr. Wayne Dobson, because um, he was our he was our like you 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 had to go and uh, try and get a video off of someone who had a cop David Copperfield special, and then along come this little small guy that was blonde that popped up from nowhere from in our eyes, yeah. and uh, was and, and was on TV, and we were just about starting and getting and wanting to be uh, we were at. Um, what age were we then? We uh, were about 17, 18, no, so slightly like younger than that. Yeah, yeah, younger than that because we saw one of your first shows yes, at the yeah. art centre. Yeah, yeah. So in the yeah, art centre. We, we, we were about 12, 12. So we saw that and then uh, we decided that that was something we'd like to do. And we always love magic. We we're always doing magic yeah. at some point. And then we went and became blue coats. Mm. Um, did the old blue coats thing and then still thought now we could do this illusion and one a lee mack and not the comedian but um one of the entertainer he uh, from jersey he sewed us some uh illusions and i remember lee mack giving me a massive massive telling off because i remember the which it was linda lastardi going into the um cube zag and uh it was it was in athens wasn't it where you filmed it uh, yeah, yeah yeah athens and uh, i was late for a duty and he Balled me out because I was late because I was watching it. I wanted to watch it live. I mean, in them days, it was you know Sky Q or whatever. You yeah. know, you had to really watch it live. And yeah, I was late because something overran, and and then then the news overran or whatever however it was. But I was late. Really, really yeah. late. So what? So Wayne Wayne was our like the the, the go to guy of any illusions, mm. and um, so we would literally have these. The, the 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 videotapes and I was recording them and we were like wearing the thing the video yeah. taped out funny now because you wouldn't even wear it out now would you just yeah. keep playing and keep playing the computer but we would wear these tapes out and obviously looking at the Linda Lasardi one particularly that Gary said we would freeze frame that and you know you you got a glimpse of Linda's like knees didn't you or, or part of something. <laughs> In the so you got bag. yeah yeah that's it in the cube zag and so you got li these little glimpses and it was all like little telltale signs and you'd, you'd come up with something mm -hmm. so um and it was and then we decided right well, we're going to do this illusion thing and to be fair you know i don't mind admitting it we thought well, we like wayne style and we even got some uh, we went through various sort of the style changes of going from the like the the white and black shirts and yeah. jeans and jackets, and jackets yeah. and then we went all into sequin phase and looked like sort of these two christmas trees and we quick yeah. change and then 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 we found our own sort of style as you do yeah. uh but we always had this the, the go-to video was you know push copperfield aside it was always wayne because it was he was english and we, we could, at that point, then we could go and actually buy some of these illusions. So we did, we, we had a really good uh, magic career um, off of the back of Wayne Dobson, really, because we, we sort of, we, we bought a lot of your old illusions when, when we could afford, and we made some very wise decisions of buying some of these things. Yeah. Uh, Clifton, Cliff, Cliff Bradley. Uh, gave us our first one, which is Shadow Theatre. Uh, we'll, we'll take you back there in a minute. Shadow yeah. Theatre, and it was, yeah. you know, it was, it was, um, it was a, it was a great time. At the first, when you started to sell off some of your stuff, um, we couldn't afford it. We we tried, and I remember having a fax from some guy that had all the big lists, and I think Russ Russ, Russ Stevens, had one, Russ Stevens, 
Yeah, I think Russ Stevens bought most of it um, at the start. And then yeah. it just then went across the world wherever. And we picked yeah. little bits up over the years to, to this one here, which is, this is this was our, our, one of our first Wayne Dobson bits. And um, this, is, this, is, this is his head. Now, when, uh, when Wayne, when we did Project Orville with Wayne, Wayne came down the first time. We'd never met him because people uh -huh. say, never meet your heroes. So we introduced Wayne back to his head. And I think it was one of the most emotional um, moments yeah. of, for all of us in the room. We had tears in our eyes because we, we brought Wayne back to his head. I was strange and dark that sound. And this is sat in pride of place in our office. Yes. Everybody that comes to comes past, walks past it, always goes, God, that's Wayne Dobson. Can I have a photo? And that's mm. everybody. We've had loads of people from, from Bradley Walsh to Billy, uh, you name it, Brian Connolly. They've all come, squeakies come and go, oh, can I get a photo? Can I get a photo? And it's just, and it's, it, it has pride of, uh, pride of place with, the, with us. This Keep, uh, keeps away the rats as well. That's uh, another thing we've noticed. Uh, no no rats in the office. <laughs> And you reverse on my man. Do they? Yeah. yeah, see this see see for us that's like a good little sort of thing, like you told mm. us, because it's it's another piece of providence on something that has some and mm. it's some historical, magical Absolutely. sort of um, yeah. history. Remember this last last year it was broadcast a year before, but this guy here, this is Reese from um loads of people have remembered him from league of gentlemen and stuff he does inside number nine now yeah. and he writes it with his partner um and um yeah so we did an episode of that called misdirection um oh. and it's worth to watch on the eyes like it's still there they just yeah and, and wayne gets there. a really good hat tip from, yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah and, and he gets a hat tip from it. so uh, it, was, yeah. it was great great to do yeah we've spoken and... we've spoken to reese and sent him some yeah, uh, uh tricks great, yeah yeah, yeah, Grace Reese is getting he's a massive magic, mass, massive. Yes, magic he said he's got like, um, zigzag yeah, and all this in yeah, his hat. That's it, mm. yeah. He hasn't got the room, he was saying. Yeah. He hasn't got the room for it. There's little statues, which is the yeah, he's got, hey, we want more, we want more, but yeah, he's got a little room. But yeah, so um, yeah, so shall we take you through? And, yeah, yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, let's have a look what at what we've the, got uh, here. We've got others, um, but we, we didn't get them out, so I'm just gonna. So the first one, again, most of the stuff um, is, is packed away, but we packed, we picked up a couple of them. So this is the slicer. Um, so this went from, uh, oh. obviously Wayne had it. Um, then it, I think it went to Russ Stevens. Then Russ sold it to a guy called James somebody. Then he sold it to Christian Farler. Uh, then it went to Jerry Cottle. And then it, it came to us. Um, so we big, were big, 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 big. yeah, it's a yeah, it's it's a Mendoza bill. But it's like like with all this history, the if if you ever did own any of the tricks that we show you, if you're watching, then by all means email us and um, and email us and say, look, I own this trick between this time to this time because obviously we'd like to we'd like to obviously get a uh, get get an idea of who who owned it. And you know what, illusionists are like that. We we all buy and sell stuff. It's great Mendoza build. It Mendoza does some great builds, great quality. Obviously, the form is gone. We've got the original form in its, in its bottom box. Um, but, uh, yeah, so uh, great build. It, you know, it must be 30 years old plus. It's still nearly as good as it was. Great mm -hmm. cast, great catches. It, it, All the runners work. But yeah. it just it just needs a bit of TLC. And then if you, we move along here, then obviously, Wayne, you'll remember this bad boy. Um, this is the, again, it's had a, a few little yeah. makeovers by other illusionists. It's not the yeah. original sort of front doors, um, but obviously this, you're disembodied. Um, so that, and yeah. it's like, if we can open her up. I think these could be Christian Fowler's doors, I think. And then you've got Russ Stevens also had it at one stage to do the, the scissor escape disembodied spike, which are round... <coughs> Which are these yeah, ones here? There's a big scissors, so they were on like bungees. I think Guy, Guy Barrett made this. Nice one, prop, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's it lovely was a prop. great. Mendoza, Mendoza just, you know, the interesting thing which we found out, so we watched your video, original, and then Russ is, and then uh, so we think Russ had this to do with the scissors, got it made the improvements or the, the changes, and then um, Christian Farler had it. Somewhere along the line, so yeah. the interesting bit with this is this here, this this is silver like this, but it's yeah. got the protective film. So whether Mendoza liked it or you liked it blue, but this film was on here as well. So it all was blue. 
So yeah. someone is, and even the blades, and it's just, a, see the blades? The blades have got the protective filter still film on it. Yeah. So, I, so whether Mendoza thought it looked really cool, blue, or, or, or you did. But, so, so, but, but the, the front one, somebody in the end pulled the blue off. So we don't know who, who pulled so, the blue so off. So if anyway. you take that blue off, you could, you could sell it as a, a brand new item. Yeah, but it's amazing. The blade, the blades have still got this this, this film. So if you look here, look, it's yeah, there's scrapes and stuff. But the film, the film is like thirty years old, but it's still on there. Because we thought originally, when we when we when we when we got it out, we thought originally it was um, there's a, there's a process where you can actually um, coat, particularly aluminium, um, with like a, a you etch it with a color. And uh, no, we, but it, we thought it was that, but it's not. It's actually protected though. And obviously, this one, this is this, this with this we. Perf yeah. I love this one. We perform this one yeah. um, all over the shop, a bit like you, Wayne, when you had it. Yeah. Um, and uh, this this one we refurbed when we were started to perform it. The usual stuff. We just pulled it out, and like all the uh, the the vinyls just started to lift off a little bit as you. Is you've got to glue it down, but yeah, it's um, right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, so, Wayne, what's Wayne, what's going through your mind at the moment seeing all these old illusions? Yeah. It's memory, yeah, I bet. And it's, and it's, yeah. and what's the biggest memory of this one, Wayne? What's the biggest memory of this? Well, which one? The, the, the uh, shadow theater, shadow theater. What's, the, what's the one that always sticks in your head? I've got. I have a message on the back. Yes, and it's still, it's, uh, this got snap. What the message is basically that this sticks out past the prop. So, and it's a lovely design, but by God, we've caught our heads so many times on this. And uh, one of the cruises that we finished on, they bait you can't see it because it's too dark, but there is what does it say? It says there and there. It says yeah. like mind your effing head because yeah. literally the last person not literally broke it there and we had to repair it and an amusing this amusing story way that is you'll know is backstage you can't see those black no. like i don't know pagoda shapes no. so what we used to do was to stick these polystyrene cups on them because after it we would do smash and yeah. stab or what in the show we do imagine smash and stab so we had these polystyrene cups so we would put the polystyrene cups on of course, one day during the show, the stage hands forgot to remove the polystyrene cups. Mm. So I turned round, ready like you did, to get into the trick, because I did this this one. And uh, there I could see these two polystyrene cups. <laughs> 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 no one noticed, but you just think, come on, guys. I think we may have your uh, the acupuncture. Audience acupuncture. acupuncture. We've also got oh, yeah. the, shirt, the, the one with the clever rhyme, uh, my shirt, my shoes, my socks. Where you, where oh, you yeah, were, yeah. yeah. So, so that that would be the piece of heart. I yeah. know Sean Alexander, and he's, he he won't give it up. The the water tank, the water cell. Um, I know the soaring is is out in France somewhere, and the guy won't give that up. Guys, thank you very much for joining us for this second week, and what a pleasure it was to see those illusions. I mean, uh, wait, how would you feel? Brilliant, unbelievable. It was great. It's great. It's like walking down memory lane, right? Oh, believe it. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, it's, it's nice to it's it's nice to show Wayne, and uh, by all means, yeah. Wayne, come on down, and you can we can check them out. Uh, mm. But if anybody knows anything about it, because I'm not an expert at all, I always say I'm never an expert. I have a small, limited knowledge. So if you know anything about the tricks, you know anything, or you know a lead of where any Wayne stuff is, then just get send us an email drop us a line and then we, we can put it to its folders because they've all got little folders with all the information that and we've if you've got any stored. away stuff whether it's you know a a handkerchief from 1972 or whatever and then you you want to get rid of it then just please go to info at the twins email at info at the twins uh, effects.com just go to the website because one day there. one day what we'd love to do is to find a convention that we can then display it all and then i thought you were going to say sell it <laughs> no, yeah, no, we're not like you guys. Guys, you guys love your stall out anything, right? So, so are we extending the invitation that you gave last week about coming down and having a look? Yeah, if you, if you if you want to sell us a Wayne Dobson trick, yeah, you're more than welcome. <laughs>